Hey guys, my name's Bumpa, and in today's video, I'm going to be partnering up with Subi and Cryo, and we're going to talk to you guys about how to play Reyna. So, let's get started. What's up guys, this is Cryo, Swords of Valorant team, and today I'm going to teach you Reyna's kit and how to utilize her in all your matches. So starting with her signature ability, it's the Dismiss, so whenever you kill an enemy or get an assist on them when they die, they drop a, a soul orb. And you can dismiss away and you're immune to all damage for a short duration and you can use this to reposition yourself after getting a kill. The next ability is off the same soul orb you can heal. This will heal all damage you take in and you can overheal as well. Our next ability is a flash or a leer. So basically you throw this in the air and it'll blind your enemies for about three seconds. The enemies do have an option to break it so you need to be careful whenever you flash. And her ultimate, they will go. it highlights all of your enemies in red and it gives you the same effect as like a stim beacon. You shoot, your fire rate increases. And the soul orbs not only heals you, but you can also dismiss at the same time. <laughs> the dismiss is probably one of my most favorite features about Reyna because you can always peek super aggressive angles and just get away with the kill. Dismisses are really good when you have super reliable aim because you can go for aggressive picks and get out with your dismiss without being punished at all. When you're dismissed, you're intangible. No one can shoot you, no one can do anything to you. And with those precious seconds when you're dismissed, you can go back to safety instead of, you know, being caught out in the middle of the open. Other agents and other duelists can't really do this. They, when they peek and they get a kill, they're kind of stuck there. They can't just immediately teleport back. But with Reyna, you have that special ability. So if I want to, for example, you know, peak top mid right here and I get a kill. I can immediately dismiss out and get back to safety without being exposed to tiles or any of the other angles. So with Reyna's heal, let's say, you know, they're coming into the site and you get a pick like right there. You want to try and heal behind cover. And the reason I say this is because in lower elo, I see a lot of players just peeking out and healing. And what this does is as you're in the process of healing, you're exposing yourself to A main, tree and a bunch of angles. And this can get you killed. I've seen a lot of times where people just heal and they get killed. So instead, let's say you kill someone there, you want to try to heal behind cover. Right here, you can see I'm covered by the green box. And this allows me to heal and not be exposed to any of the angles right there. So make sure to always heal from a safe spot. And if you can't, just don't even bother healing because you're going to risk dying. And I've seen so many people die from just healing in the middle of the open. Another mistake I see people make with Reyna's heal is that they'll just get a kill and instinctively heal when they don't need to. And the reason this is bad is because if you look at the bottom of my screen, I only have two orbs. And let's say I get a kill and I just heal when I don't need to, then I only have one left. And this isn't good because I'm only going to have one orb left, which means I can only dismiss or heal at one time. So instead, when you get a kill, try and think, do I need to heal now? Look at your HP. This varies from circumstance to circumstance, but whenever I heal, I always take a second to look at my HP and think, oh, do I really need this heal? Finally, we have Reyna's ult. Reyna's ult should be used when you're in a position to get multiple kills. Let's say I'm playing as a defender yeah. in market and I hear a bunch of people yeah. be main. Go. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my ult because I'm in a position to get multiple kills. When you're in your Reyna ult, you get multiple things. First of all, you get the ability to shoot a lot faster. As you can see, I shoot bullets at a significantly higher rate, which gives me a huge advantage in gunfights. Second of all, you get unlimited orbs as you can see at the bottom of my screen. And whenever you pop one of these orbs after you get a kill, not only do you dismiss back, but you also heal while dismissing. So you basically have unlimited dismisses and heals all at the same time. And this is really good when you're fighting someone because... Let me pop my ult again. Let's say you fight someone and you kill them, you can immediately get out and dismiss all while healing. And this is super good because you can take aggro fights and get out of there all while healing. If you're not in your ult, you can't do that because let's say you get a kill, you dismiss, you won't heal. But when you're in your ult, you get that kill, you can dismiss out while healing. And this can just give you a, such a great opportunity to get multiple kills because you can just keep fighting, dismissing back, and just repositioning yourself. One enemy remaining. <laughs> Alright, when it comes to attacking with Reyna, um, it's pretty simple you're going to if you're doing an execute you want to be flashing high um, while you take the site and you're probably going to be running in first because you're a duelist um, but the reason you want to flash high when you enter the site is so that 
it messes up the opponent's crosshair placement, so they have to flick up in order to shoot the flashbang. Um, but you want to flash high, or you want to flash in a, or you want to flash really low. But you don't really want to flash just at head level, because then it's easier for them to shoot the flash and then just come right back to shooting you. Um, but you want to flash high, enter the site in combination with your teammate's utility, and you're basically just going to be taking duels. Something you can do is you can peek out. If you get that first kill, you can dismiss, and then what you can do is you can use the dismiss while you're invincible to find, say, another player on site, ping him for your team, go back behind cover, and then you swing with your teammates. Uh, so there's some pretty high-level counterplay that you can do with her and uh, good exploitation of her mechanics that you can use in order to get information and uh, single out the other players that are left on site after you get that first pick. However, just because Rain is a duelist doesn't mean that she can't be good as a lurker. Um, Reyna's kit is very uh, so or in, good for main, maintaining herself solo because she can heal and dismiss. That means that she can lurk out, find a pick, uh, get a kill, and either heal back to full health or dismiss and get out of dodge um, so that she can't be traded. Uh, well, I see a lot of people in lower ranks uh, commenting whenever I play a duelist and I choose to lurk like one round out of the 13 rounds on attack. At lurking duelist lol w whatever but being unreadable and making sure that you're not just having oh you're playing cypher that means you lurk every single round that that becomes readable over time and the enemy team will start to look out for your flanks but if you switch it up and say one round you don't initiate with reyna and you have her lurk uh, reyna can be very powerful as a lurker because of her self-sustaining abilities so for attacking on Reyna, she's really good at taking aim duels, which is really important for taking map control on your defaults and helping your team get space. So for example, you could Reyna flash down long and take an aim duel here and try to get long control for your team. Or you could ask for a utility from one of your support characters, such as a Sova drone, and you can ask your Sova to drone down short, and which you can follow. And this will make it way easier for you to get your picks and to create that space for your team. Now as for entering on site, uh, taking space is as simple as just throwing in a leer flash up high and going in first so your team can trade and really create that space when you guys enter the site. Moving on to defense, when defending with Reyna, something that is super strong when you're playing her is to utilize off angles or one and done spots. So something that I like to do, for instance, at the A or at A bomb site at the start of the round, as soon as this barrier drops, I like to walk to the opposite wall and I hold this wide angle and I have either like an opper or just somebody here taking contact for me. So they like, they take contact at this first angle and then my teammate falls off after taking contact, maybe taking a shot or two, and then they swing wide into me. I get the kill and then I dismiss back into A. Um, so because of her dismissibility and the fact that you get two of them, um, you can utilize that in order to take these aggressive, weird angles that the other team's not going to expect. You get one kill, and then you back out into cover, right? Um, and if you think that you can find a gap or an opening on them, you can overextend with Reyna, find a pick, and dismiss back to cover and get that man advantage. So say you get information that there's only one guy in mid, and you're smoked off cat. You can swing through this cat smoke, find this kill, get the frag, and then dismiss back safely into cover. So... Uh, utilizing off angles and playing weird angles that the enemy team is not going to expect that normally if you were playing a regular character um, would just net you one kill and then you die that's very 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 powerful on Reyna and I highly recommend that you utilize those angles with her dismissibility um, as for her flashes her flashes are not very good for using or aggressively on defense so what I like to do is I like to save flashes for when they're executing or coming to the site right so say I'm playing A, I can be playing like Heaven for my teammate. Say I have a Killjoy here taking contact with, say she has a turret in this corner. And I'm saying, okay, I'll flash off your turret. So the enemy team comes out of A main, the, stur the turret starts shooting at them and I get the indication on my minimap that the turret is firing. Uh, what I'll do is I'll flash high and then I'll swing off the flash after the turret's contact. And you can sort of combo her utility with other characters utility like that um, because Either they have to turn to the right and shoot the turret that's tagging them, or they have to get shot by the turret, look up, shoot my flashbang, and then flick back down to me. So uh, using her flash as sort of a reactionary piece of utility during executes uh, and f messing up your opponent's crosshair placement is very, very strong. Alrighty, so for post plants with Reyna, what you want to do is you want to take as many safe fights as possible. 
what I mean by that is don't go ahead just like swing out cluelessly or don't go hiding like hell for example you have heals and dismisses put those to use you can easily get a frag and get out hands free with your healer dismiss whereas if you know if you just hide right here and you make your other teammates like your killjoy or your silver if you make them fight they won't be able to use their abilities to stop them from defusing but you as arena you have all the abilities that are used for kills so what you want to do is instead of just hiding always try to take safe fights to you know secure the post plan and by doing that, you can allow your other teammates like your Sova, your Killjoy to go play the bomb with their utility. All right, that about covers it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Um, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you want more content like this. And uh, appreciate you guys. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And we will see you in the next